There's a certain sector of the left that really bugs me. Vehemently anti-liberal leftists. They'll stop at nothing to endlessly critique milquetoast liberals, but then coddle right-wingers the moment they say anything even remotely populist or anti-authoritarian. Think of the Jimmy Dore crowd. I literally saw one Jimmy Dore fan under a video critiquing Jimmy Dore during the whole Anna Kasparian, Jimmy Dore, Kyle Kalinske drama. They said something along these lines. I will gladly align myself with a Boogaloo Boy because I have more in common with a Boogaloo Boy than a DNC donor. At face value, that's technically true. A Boogaloo Boy is typically not a rich elite, but rather a citizen, probably part of the working class. They may share some of the same populist, anti-authoritarian positions you hold, but there's kind of sort of a fundamental difference between you and a Boogaloo Boy, or at least I hope. Boogaloo boys typically advocate for a second civil war and want a white ethnostate. Many of them are white supremacists, neo-Nazis, the whole nine yards. So sure, you may find some common ground with some individual Boogaloo boys. Liberals suck, I don't trust the government, but their end goal is pretty fucking disgusting and should not make you want to coalesce with them at all. Speaking of Jimmy Dore, there's a video of him interviewing a Boogaloo boy who says, yeah, I'm pro-BLM, yeah, I'm pro-LGBT rights, never mind the fact that I'm part of a hate group, can containing a lot of people against these things, but no, I'm totally on your side, and Jimmy Dore is sitting there like a dumbass, like, whoa, maybe these guys really are on our side, we can totally consider them allies. This line of thinking is fucking dangerous, and to see it propped up by large figures like Jimmy Dore is pretty gross. I'm sorry, populism alone isn't enough for me to consider a person an ally. This is my exact problem with this portion of the left. They think just because someone holds more populist beliefs, they are automatically an ally. Never mind that they may be a neo-Nazi, a white supremacist, outright fascist, the whole nine yards, they may want a white ethnostate and quote-unquote ethnically cleanse all the non-white people. But just because they may not have 100% trust in the government, we should totally get behind these people. We should totally consider them allies. Fuck off with that bullshit. You're telling me I should get behind a person who would want to see the people who I live with dead and want to see me dead because I'm mixed race just because they don't trust the government? Yeah, no, hard pass. I'd much rather ally myself with a milk toast liberal than a piece of shit like that. And hey, I'm not even down with liberalism. Liberalism has no problems with capitalism and feels capitalism should be reformed rather than abolished. Work within the system we live under instead of completely throwing it out the fucking window and coming up with a better system. I do not jive with that, but at the very least, these people can realize there are serious problems with the system that we live under and can recognize the injustices it dishes out. These quote-unquote right-wing pop actually like the oppression that marginalized people face in this country because they're racist shitbags. The only time they hold populist positions, or should I say quote-unquote populist positions, is when they don't trust something like the COVID vaccine. They feel like the government is putting microchips in the fucking vaccine. Or any other preposterous conspiracy theory they ascribe to. These people, if they were able to attain any real power, would contribute to so much harm. Oh wait, we've already seen that. Look at Donald Trump's presidency. His last year especially. Especially, he placed distrust in the minds of so many people when it came to the vaccine, and now most people spreading COVID and dying from it are those who refuse to take the vaccine and take any sorts of precaution against COVID. Hundreds of thousands of people in this country died as a result of Trump's incompetence. This is exactly the kind of shit that right-wing populism leads us to, and I want absolutely nothing to do with it. I want absolutely nothing to do with anyone who self-identifies as a right-wing populist. There is absolutely nothing anti-authoritarian about the right wing. You see so many people within the right wing cheer on the cops when they kill a person of color for just simply resisting arrest, and then they shout ACAB when their coup attempt on January 6th was met with some pushback by law enforcement. Just because someone may have the aesthetic of being anti-authoritarian does not mean that they are, and that doesn't mean by any means they should automatically consider that person an ally, because this shit only helps the right grow, because they know they're able to do people like you, who are so anti-authoritarian to the point where you will align yourself with anyone, no matter their end goals, just because they may hold some populist beliefs. At least with liberals, and I'm talking about regular Joe Schmo ones, not rich elites, 
I know their hearts are in the right place. It's just that they're a bit misguided when it comes to the solution to the problem. Many of them are for basic human rights. Many of them are pro-anti-racist movements like BLM. Many of them are for social equality. So I find myself having more common ground with a liberal than someone who loves systemic oppression but masquerades themselves as a populist. And I just really wish the hardcore stigma against liberalism would just fucking die within the left because I know liberals want to reform capitalism instead of abolishing it. Cringe, but they're with us when it comes to a lot of social issues, and maybe we could build from there, and if they're willing to listen, maybe we could pull some to our side. But you just have to be a purity test sectarian chode, don't you? You have to shun these people who would probably be more sympathetic towards your side if you weren't such a dick to them and didn't just dismiss them because they don't have the same exact solution as you. Meanwhile, you'll align yourselves with outright fascists just because they hold the same distrust in the government that you do. Can you please finally be able to grasp the fact that people can hold the same positions as you but have wildly different ambitions and wildly different end goals that would be a huge detriment to this world? Because you aligning yourselves with these people just based on the fact alone that they parade themselves around as an anti-authoritarian gives legitimacy to these people. It helps their ideas spread and radicalize other people. Please, for the Love of fucking God, get an actual ideology finally that just isn't populism equals good no matter who considers themselves a populist because that is a dangerous line of thinking that only helps prop up and spread hatred and harm in this world. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye bye.